Yo, what is up guys? Today is uh, Thursday and uh, on Friday we're going to be getting some content and let's look into that content to see what the cards will be. Alright, so I usually don't make videos like this. This is my first time doing it. So uh, yeah, so the first card that we got tweeted out was this Marcus Smart Amethyst card that I already tell you is going to be a budget god. Because if y'all remember, we got the glitch one. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm in a little sick still from uh, the last time I uploaded. But um, if y'all remember, we got a ruby glitch one last year. Around, not this time, but like a f maybe a month or two after. And it was just like one of the best cards in the game. It was so broken. And um, <clears throat> yeah, this dude's definitely going to at least have like gold clamps with like gold intimidator. And he's going to have that shooting ability, just like every other point guard right now. I mean, even if it's three, if it's at least an 80, this dude could be, he could be him. He could be one of the best point guards because he, you're getting a decent size build. Not, not too tall, but not too small. So he could like rim run, which is the meta right now. And, um, yeah, this is going to be the budget donovan mitchell so for people that can't get donovan mitchell you're getting about the same player just with probably some better defense but not as a good as a jumper wingspan and all that much so yeah this is definitely a cop this would definitely be a player i would get and uh yeah let's go to the next player all right so now we got ben watts was honestly Honestly, I've played with his jumper a little bit and, you know, the 2KU. Honestly, if they give him at least a 63 and, like, a 70 mid-range, this is the best center in the game. His jumper is so chicken. And plus, the dude, yes, he's, like, 6'9", and it's not that really tall, but he's going to have at least, he probably is going to have Hall of Fame bully. And if, you know, this gold bully right now is broken on players. Now you put it on Hall of Fame with someone that can shoot with a really good jump shot. This card's going to be broken. Just This card, like I said, could literally be the best card that we see tomorrow. Because of his jumper, his build, and he's probably going to have Golder Hall of Fame bully. And like Intimidator and stuff like that. Because, you know, this is solely a defensive card. Even though his build's not that great. He's going to be doing the job for you in the paint. So, yeah, this is definitely a cop if he is affordable. Like, honestly, even if he has a good three, even, like, 60K for this card wouldn't even be outrageous. Like, yeah, this dude, he's going to be that guy. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a cop right here. And then next could be, like, this is my favorite player of all time. So there is a little bit of bias by him, but Vince Carter half man half amazing he's just i played with him also in the 2ku and this dude he's gonna be the best rim runner he's gonna be the meta like if you're not that good at shooting but you're a rim running god this is the player you want on your team he might be a little overpriced for what you're getting because you might be able to get a better rim runner for a little cheaper but yeah he has a he has an okay jumper but he is a really good size up. Like, he's going to be able to explode. And, you know, the dude could dunk, do any dunk in the game. He's going to have no problem clearing to the paint. And, um, yeah, his jumper's okay. He could dribble. And he, you already know he's fast. So, yeah, Vince Carter. I mean, if he's affordable, which I say 80, 90K may be affordable. Then I would say this is this might be a cop, but if he's like 150k, 200k, this is definitely a drop. This is not a. I mean, this is a really good player. It's just for that much, you could get so much more better budget options. Insane, but yeah, if he's cheap, this is a cop, of course. Break down the rim. I was not expecting this player to get a card this early, but we're here. Zion Williamson, the number one pick, is going to be the card that we get three versions of. So, last time it was Steph Curry, which was a W because 
I mean, it's Steph Curry. There's no explaining. The dude could drain four pointers in clutch time. So, let's be honest here. Zion doesn't have the most juiced jumper of all time. That's why I'm a little iffy on him right now. But he does have a he does have a different jumper. And, of course, he's going to be so explosive. He's going to just be so athletic. It's not even funny. But, um, I mean, his jumper, it's greenable. So, if these have, like, a, I mean, I don't see it being any higher than an 80. Maybe the pink diamond has, like, an 82, 83 three-pointer. But the amethyst, I can see being, like, 15K, 20K. And if he has, like, even, like, a 73 pointer I think that's all right. So, I think that might be a cop. Then the diamond, I'm going to predict, will be about 40, 30K. And, I mean, they're good, right? The diamond and uh, amethyst, they're going to be good. But I think Paolo Banchero is still, like, please tell me if I'm not saying his name wrong. But... I think he's still going to be a better option than both these two cards right here. And then the pink diamond one, as long as he has a really high three-point rating, I mean, the dude's going to probably be the best power forward in the game. It just really depends if, like, how fast he is. But, uh, yeah. Amethyst and diamond, they're going to be good. It's just Paolo Manchero. You're getting a bigger player that's going to just be way more better when it comes to shooting. And the pink diamond one's going to be iffy. So, yeah, that's about it for today's video. And bye.